metropolis. Let's see. Alexander Joseph Luther, is it? Lex, I'm certain you've heard the name above genius level intelligence, the greatest criminal mind of our time. Mm-hmm. That's nice. The reference from your parole officer says you need employment. I think we can find a nice place for you in the Cord Industries family. Do you have any cafeteria experience? The brightest criminal flame of our age, surrounded by soggy simpletons. Here, driver. Two trains and a bus ride from uptown. Blasted. Cheap wiring. Don't blow a fuse, Luther. I'm here to brighten your day. Superman. I believe this is what's called breaking and entering. Show yourself out before I call the police. Go right ahead. I told the parole board everyone deserves a chance to turn over a new leaf. Even a career criminal like you. They said only if I agreed to keep tabs on you. So you expect thanks? Look around. My prison cell had better interior design and central air conditioning. This isn't a new lease on life. It's a new life sentence. It isn't too late for you to do good in this world. Is that so? You might not believe it about yourself, Luther, but I do. I'm giving you a chance to prove yourself. Will you help me? Me? Help you? Lex Luther, the keenest criminal genius of our generation. Lex Luther, the sharpest criminal intellect. Its last word was brainiac. Give me that. They put up a heck of a fight. Yes, yes, I read the planet. The robot said something about sending an alert. What if there are more of them? You're clearly out of your depth, Superman. It isn't your fault. You were born with all your muscles below the neck. That being the case, I'll lend you my expertise. Just leave this trinket with me. I'm deciding to trust you, Luther. Don't make me regret it. I give you my word of honor. That's what I'm afraid of. Brainiac? We'll just see about that. The Daily Planet. Sorry, I'm a little behind, Lois. You ready for our lunch date? The rain has let up. Have a seat, Clark. This is our lunch date. Gosh, Lois, I thought we could go to the town diner. My treat. Forget about work a little. Clark, yesterday a robot from outer space crashed down and gave Superman a run for his money. Your Cobb salad can wait. Have some of my fries. Oh, that... Thanks. Somebody else is probably already looking into that robot thing. Like who? The police? You're sure you can't take a break? What are they going to do? Write it a parking ticket? The public has a right to know what it is and why it came here. I'm going to be the one to tell them. I'm serious, Clark. I have a feeling about this one. This could be the story of the century. Aren't they all? Lois Lane. I'll try again tomorrow. Yes. Hi, Steve. Thanks for returning my call. Off the record, as always. Of course. Really? You've confirmed that? It's no gag, Miss Lane. Ever since yesterday, we've been picking up an incoming signal from deep space. Oh, my God. From who? Unknown origin. It's in some kind of code from a language I've never seen. I can't even say for certain it is language. I, I have to go. No one can know we talked. No, don't hang up. Wait. Hello? Hello? That was a source of mine at the SETI Institute, Clark. You know, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. You'll never guess what he said. Clark? You're in Lex Luthor's classroom now, Tin Skull. Incoming transmission fragment. Data received by mothership. Location, uh, galactic coordinates locked. Class, ultra-invasive species registered. Kryptonian. Brainiac has arrived.
inhabitants of Earth. The fragile balance of your planet's ecosystem is endangered. An invasive species of enormous destructive potential is hidden amongst you. Its physical appearance enables it to blend in with your kind. It is not your kind. It is Kryptonian. I am Brainiac, preserver and cataloger of all life. I have come to save you. Searching for a Earth's native ecosystem will be restored. Your compliance is appreciated. You got a funny way of saving people, Brainiac. So, you show yourself, and you possess the misguided self-assuredness that was emblematic of your species. I do not expect your unevolved mind to comprehend the equilibrium of galaxies. Kryptonian uh. located. Isolating. Uh. Lane, where are you going? You'll have to do better than that, Brainiac. Austin. Another part of town. Dozens of robots have exited the alien spacecraft. They're attacking. We're under attack. Downtown, step on it. You crazy. Didn't you hear the news? That's a UFO. I'll give you a $500 tip. Downtown coming up. Get him, Superman. Heed me, inhabitants of Earth. Krypton had its time. The short-sighted behavior of its apex species brought about its own demise. Yet you believe one of them is now your savior. It is not. This is my home, Brainiac. You are the threat here. The complexities of existence and extinction are beyond you. I am also the last of my kind. I engineered this body and transferred my considerable consciousness into it, so the knowledge and culture of my people would live on. Such is my devotion to the preservation of life. To preserve Earth, you must be caged. You aren't taking him. He's one of us, Jack. Inhabitants, your sentimentality is not merely a threat to this city, but to your entire planet. Not merely to this planet, but to entire star systems. That is the destructive potential of one Kryptonian. If you will not acquiesce, then for the good of your species, this city will be excised. What? No! A Kryptonian infestation cannot be permitted to spread farther to breed. Like flesh infected with disease, it must be cut away for the health of the body. It is necessary for the survival of all species. Stop! Just stop. You win, Brainiac. Don't hurt these people. It isn't their fault. Don't punish them because of me. Superman? Hey, how's about that tip? Money bags. I don't know, Chief. This doesn't look so good. Don't do it, Superman. I surrender. The last Kryptonian? Please like, comment, and subscribe.